Media Productions is proud to present FCA on LSN and FMP Sports on FairfieldMedia.tv. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by... Service Master Clean by Todd George. They are proud to be the only Green Seal certified janitorial service in Central Ohio and promise to do the job right or do it over. 740-687-1077. Thompson Concrete, a full-service concrete company. Online at thompsonconcrete.com. Fairfield Mini Storage is located on East Main Street in Lancaster. We'll find them online at ffministorage.com. Discover your promise in academics, in athletics, or in theater at Ohio University Lancaster in Pickerington. Online at lancaster.ohiou.edu. Let Matt Gray motivate you or your group for change. You can visit him online at macspeaking.com. In Focus Consulting, the data agency, online at infocusconsulting.com. Fairfield Christian Church, located near the River Valley Mall in Lancaster, online at fairfieldcc.com. The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home, respect for tradition, regard for change, available online at funeralhome.com. Roger Weaver and the Weaver Law Offices online at weaver-law.com. Redeemer Lutheran Church and Dr. Jack Davidson. You can visit them online at redeemerlancaster.org. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. And welcome everybody here to Jim Rockwell Stadium here in New Lexington, Ohio for the FCA on LSN Game of the Week. FCA, the Fairfield Christian Knights at home hosting the Shady Side Tigers. Welcome everybody, I'm Caleb Kandra. Alongside me today is the Lou Fraturo. Thank you for joining us today. We've got a barn burner here for you guys today. A, the four and three Shady Side Tigers coming in to face the six and one Fairfield Christian Academy Knights. And a great game here coming on. And uh, Lou, we've got a game with a lot of playoff potential here. Yeah, we really do, Caleb. It's a uh, it's an exciting atmosphere tonight here in beautiful New Lexington, and we have the Shady Side Tigers with such a rich history of football, almost 90 years of playing football against Fairfield Christian Academy in their third year. Looks like uh, Fairfield Christian has won the toss, and they have elected to defer until the second half, and uh, therefore they will be kicking off. And um, Hayden Welch, of course, as always, is doing the duties. Definitely a great game, and as uh, as I said before, Shady Side four and three, although they're ranked fifth in their region, and uh, that's just because they've been playing awesome teams. There's the kick, a nice one. Back to number ten for Shady Side. Nice tackle. Nice tackle by number seventy-one, Jordan Bennett. Good start there for Jordan. So the Knights are going to come out here on defense, and I think this is going to be huge for them. Uh, Definitely, mainly because they, if they can start off strong on defense here, 
they could possibly set that trend for the rest of the ball game. Now you're right, Caleb. I, I think uh, we're going to find pretty quickly this game is going to be won in the trenches on the lines, and uh, Fairfield is going to have to really show that they belong in a game like this right off right off the top here. Almost oh, definitely. Quarterback Chase Kinneman keeps the ball, goes around the right side. Got one man to beat. Fumbles the ball. Fairfield Christian has indeed recovered the fumble. A great break for Fairfield oh, yeah. Christian. Well, right there, I mean, if you were watching that, everybody, including myself, thought that FCA, um, FCA had him in the backfield, but then I look up and there's the quarterback off running. Yeah, it was a great fake by, uh, by the quarterback Kinneman there. Yeah. But, uh, again, nice. great, great, great opportunity oh, yeah. now for Fairfield Christian starting on their own 47-yard line. Great field position. And uh, let's see what the Knights can do right out of the shoot here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zach Sullivan running out on the field. Uh, must have had a bit of a uh, personnel hiccup over there. I think uh, Ben Tobin came off the field there, looks like. Uh. There's the handoff to Sam Fraturo right up the middle, gain of about uh, two yards or so. Now this right there is what the Knights like to do a lot. They like to run right up the middle and just pound it out, play some hard-nosed football. And uh, Coach Dodd definitely is a very traditional coach in that sense. Yeah, he, he is. And, and he talked this year about the importance of the running game, setting up the passing game. We all know they have a terrific passing attack with Hayden Welch and Luke Johnson at quarterback. So uh, let's see what happens here on second down. Luke rolls out to the right, gets around the end, and he's got some running room. Heads down the sideline to about the 42-yard line. I don't know if he made that or not. It looked like he might have. It looks like he, it's awful. There it is, oh, the first they, down. They gave it to him. That's awful close. Nice run by Luke. Showed some good speed to get around the corner there. He's done that a bit more over the last couple games, Caleb, where yeah. he has uh, taken some charge there and, and really showed some good uh, some good burst to get around the end. There. Oh, yeah, good most definitely. Now, if you're watching this also and uh, you're, you're expecting to see some different formations out of the night, don't expect them to go out of the I formation. There's Luke, a pass out to Bobby Fraturo. Makes one man miss. And he's tackled for about a two-yard gain. That was some real good pursuit there by the Shady Side oh, Tigers. Yeah. Great move there by... Uh, uh, Bobby there just to get out of the way and buy an extra yard because had he not done that, he probably would have lost yards. So Knight's already coming out strong here against Shadyside uh, here early, and you got 10-40 and rolling down here uh, left for the game. Okay, here we go. Looks like a... Uh, oh, here you go, Caleb. Slightly different, oh, wow. uh, different formation here for the Knights. Let's see what they do with this. Definitely, Shady Side's definitely not expecting this. That's a direct snap to Sam Fraturo, so that's a new a new wrinkle. A wildcat formation. Yeah, there. that's exactly what it was. Gain of about three or four yards it, there. Of course it'd be as soon as I say, don't expect to see him go out of the eye. But you know, in a game like this with a perennial powerhouse like Shady Side, mm -hmm. you'd almost have to anticipate right. that the Knights are going to have to do a few different things. Right. Keep them uh, keep them off balance. So here we go with third and five. Uh, our first key play of the night here. Yeah. Let's see what we can accomplish on this third down. Johnson with the slam pass to Fraturo. Good, good catch nice. there. And it looks like a first down for Bobby Fraturo down to the 21 yard line of the Shady Side Tigers. That so was a great throw by Johnson. As you see, if you, if we had replay, we could do this, but. Um, he really split it in between them. You didn't. He ha didn't have much room to get that ball in. There. Now it was. It was a nice tight pass, and uh, and Luke is starting off very very well, which you know is a little different. Normally Luke takes a little while to get warmed up, but tonight he has come out on fire. First down and ten. Hand off to Fraturo. Gets a couple yards, maybe three yards there on that play. Squirted through the line. Second down and about uh, looks like seven or eight on the shady side, about 18, 18 and a half yard line. Timmy Pratt on the carry picks up for second and six for the night. Yeah, Knights lining up, spreading the ball out, definitely even in an eye. Yeah, Colin Young far out to the left, Hayden Welch closer. Luke Johnson with a quarterback sneak up the middle. Good, good gain there for Luke, about four yards more. It's gonna bring us with about a third down and looks like two. 
for here, the Fairfield Christian Knights. Here real quick, I'd like to let you know, first quarter action here on FCA and LSN is brought to you in part by Thompson Concrete, a full-service company offering commercial, residential, and decorative excavation and foundation services with the ability to handle every detail of large, complex concrete projects. You can contact them. They're located, at, first of all, in Carroll, Ohio, and can be reached at 740-756-7256 or online. Third down play to Sam Paturo is good for, looks like to be a first down. Let's see where they spot the ball. And yes, it is indeed. Another first down for the Fairfield Christian Knights who are marching right yeah. down the field on their first possession. Knights playing good short game football where they just get small gains at a time. And uh, I, that's really the way you want to play a big powerhouse like this, if you ask me, is just to chip away at them. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Here we go with first down on the shady side 11 yard line. There's Luke back for the pass to Bobby. Oh, once again, a little bit of a juggling play. Did he make that catch? No, I, incomplete I so. pass, good. I'm glad that was close there because yeah. he bobbled that ball in the air and that could have very easily Did gone over the shady side yeah. for an interception. Second down. Well, first incomplete pass by Luke today. And so far he's only been going to Bobby. You can expect Shady side to be all over Hayden tonight. As you can see, it looks like they have about two people on him right now. They do. It looks like one short and one uh, deep again. We've seen that formation before. Pitch to Sammy going left. Sammy gets around the end. Down to the five yard line. Can he get in the end zone? Yes, he does. Touchdown, Sam Futuro. And the Knights strike early against the, uh, the Pan or, uh, excuse me, the Tigers. And that's a great way to start the game off against the uh, state runner up from last year. Yeah, it really is, uh, Caleb. That was a, uh, a decisive opening drive for the Fairfield Cracks Christian Knights. Sam Perturo finishing that drive off with about an 11 yard run around the end and showed that burst of speed to get to the corner of the end zone there. So now we're uh, off to our extra point with Hayden Welch and Luke Johnson holding. There's only 7.57 left here in the first quarter. That's a great, great opening drive. Uh, kick is up and the kick is good indeed for Hayden Welch. So once again we have a score of seven to nothing here uh, at the uh, New Lexington Field. 7:57 to go in the first quarter. Again, Caleb, just to repeat, um, for those that are just joining late, um, Shady Side was uh, driving down the field as their quarterback made a great play, but he fumbled the ball on about the 45-yard line. Fairfield Christian took over and marched right down the field nonstop in an impressive yeah. opening drive. Well, it was definitely an early hiccup by Shady Side, and then FCA used that momentum to drive right down the field and go out to an early 7-0 lead. And um, definitely how you want to start a game off a defensive, I wouldn't say stand, I'd say like blessing from heaven. Yes, but uh, <laughs> I would agree with that statement. But you know what? you got to capitalize when yeah. the other team makes mistakes. And that's exactly what happened well, there. Well, and that's something in their game against Notre Dame they weren't able to do very well. Uh, if you guys have seen that game, they didn't capitalize very well on some opportunities they had in the red zone. So that's great to see them moving the ball on Shady Side the way they just did. Absolutely. Hayden with the kickoff, another nice long deep kick to uh, number 12, I believe, for 42, I'm sorry. Takes the kick back and another good open field tackle there. That was uh, one to five. Zach Sullivan. Sullivan. Zach Sullivan, number yeah. 10. A little bit of help from Bobby Futuro, but Zach did a great job of uh, making that tackle right there. And, uh, you know, Shady Side coming out. They're probably going to look, uh, Chase Kinmod is probably going to want to look for. Um, probably look for something a little better. I mean, uh, the coach definitely with an aggressive play call that probably would have worked had he not fumbled it. Um, yeah, we're going to have yeah. to watch that, uh, Caleb, because uh, most of our defense was definitely fooled on that oh, first yeah. play. So let's see what happens here. Hand off up the middle to uh, number 42. Nice run up the middle. 40-yard line around the end, 50. Tackled out of bounds there. Nice tackle there by number 52, Brian, Brian Miller. Miller, I think. Yep. Yeah. But a huge pickup right there on first down for Shady Side. Well, it looked like there at the Knights. The Knights were doing a uh, line shift to the left, and the Shady Side was going to the right, or to the right of the Knights' defense. So they kind of went in the opposite direction. So um, Knights, hopefully, on this play can keep up with them a little more. Agreed. It's uh, first down and 10 on the Fairfield Christian 46 for Shady Side. Kinnaman back for the handoff again to 42. Nice oh, tackle wow. there. Excellent tackle by Brian Miller. Took his legs out. 
Again, number 42 is Brooks Ramsey, the uh, strong running back for Shady Side. They have two. They have two. Caleb, really yeah. strong running backs. Uh, number 23, Chris Littell, and number 42, Brooks Ramsey. And you'll see them um, substitute in and out yeah. on different plays. Both very strong runners. Well, that's definitely from what I heard last year about them is what they've built their program off of doing. Very similar to what a FCA runs. Yeah, exactly. Second down and nine for Shady Side to fake and a run up the middle and another great tackle there made by a host of Knights, but led by, let's see who Luke that Johnson, was. On the bottom. I believe. Luke Johnson, yeah, Luke Johnson. Yep, Luke Johnson and uh, Joey Gall, number 51. Nice so. job by Luke to, to stop that because if you saw that, it, it looked like if Luke didn't get that, he wasn't going to make, the, he was going to get a couple of yards yeah. out of that. Yeah, it was a strong, it was a strong stop. Oh, yeah. And a host of other nights. we got third down and nine again on the 45-yard line for Fairfield Christian. So this is a uh, another key play. Here we go. And they're in the shotgun. Chase Kinneman with the fake. Going long. He's got a man wide open down there, number one, Austin. There it is. Yep. Got down to the... Did he get in? Yep, he yes, scored. he did. Touchdown for Shady Side Tigers, Austin Doris. And uh, Austin is a six foot four, 200 pound wide receiver. That's and incredible. You saw that. Yeah. They could not get him down. Well, I mean, you had Nick Spurgis, who's just about his size, but a lot smaller in weight, um, trying to drag him down with. Uh, it looked like uh, Hayden Welch over there trying to drag him down and he's a load yeah he's a load it's not going to be easy it's not going to take you need more than one guy to do that oh yeah unless you grab his legs but yeah. even then he's a tall kid he could have stretched out so shady side answers the uh, knights with a uh an impressive second possession they get down to the uh to score there it's now seven six and we have an official's timeout Not sure what's going on on there. He's talking to Coach Dobb. Not exactly sure what's going on, though. We only have five seconds left on the play clock here. Let's see what they do. They have to make this snap, otherwise they're going to have a delay of game. And they got it off just in time. And that's good. So game's tied up now. And uh, seven to seven. And <laughs> we're going to have a good game on our hands. Yeah, we are. We knew we would. We knew Shady Side certainly with their uh, history and their strength of uh, schedule and team, they were not going to lie down. Oh, yeah, for sure. 6.09 remaining in the uh, first quarter. Uh, very quickly, we have a score of 7-7. Seven to seven. So, uh, so far, an offensive game. Both defenses oh, yeah. haven't been able to do much to stop the other team. Well, while we have a break here, I'd like to tell you that this game is brought to you by Service Master Clean by Todd George. Clean, serve Master Clean by Todd George. Cleaning and disaster restoration for all of Fairfield County. They will help you get clean and stay that way at work and at home when they demonstrate their commitment to excellence and their promise to do the job right or do it over. Service Master Clean by Todd George can be contacted at 740-687-1077. Thank you, Todd George, for supporting FMP Sports. Also like to tell you that Spires Paving is also a proud sponsor of FCA on LSN. Spires Paving serving Lancaster and Fairfield County since 1984. You can contact them at 740-653-6837 or online at spirespaving.com. Our uh, booth at the fair at 90.9 was right next to theirs down there at the fair. So got yep. to talk with Mr. Spires quite a bit. Yeah. Yep. It's actually Mr. Hine, or I Mr. believe. Mr. Hine, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Yep. Cody, uh, actually number 10 for Shadyside, kicks off, and it looks like a short kick and a nice uh, nice catch there made. You know, when you get those short kicks, you got to be careful. Oh, yeah. Uh, often uh, you don't have your, your guys with the best hands making those catches, but that was a nice play there. Yeah, it definitely was. So SCA is going to try it, come out and probably try to do what they did in the last drive, just move the ball methodically. Um, although it is Coach Dobbs, so we can expect to see a uh, big play attempt. Yeah. Once or Absolutely. sooner or later. First down and 10 for the Fairfield Christian Knights on the shade on their own 33-yard line. Forgive me on that. Look at this formation, Caleb. What on earth is going on this here? This is a unique formation. It goes out to uh, Sam. Oh dear. For Turo, and it was uh, missed there. The pass was uh, was offline just a bit there. But uh, there you go, Caleb. See They're mixing them up already. They you are. saw Shady Side's defense that he caught that. Yeah. It was all. Uh, they had no way of covering that. Interesting, uh, interesting formation there. I think they call that a diamond formation yeah. where they were out to the right with four guys. And one and, guy up uh, top. Yeah, one guy on top, Hay uh, Hayden Welch. But it looks like now we're heading back into a more traditional formation for yeah. the uh, Knights. 
Second down and 10 after that incompletion. Luke Johnson brings the charges up to the line here. Luke back for the pass. And oh. that pass is batted and almost intercepted. And that looked like that was that yeah. number one guy again, Austin Doris. Used all six foot yeah. four to uh, swat that pass down. Yeah. So I'd also like to you know say with uh, about that last uh, two plays ago where they came out in that diamond, SCA definitely has the athleticism to run those more spread offense styles. They do. Third down and ten. This is uh, again we're going to have a, a game of important plays. Third down and ten. Luke goes back and a handoff to Sam. Sam gets by the uh, initial pass there, but can't quite shake that. Looks like we had the, another fumble there, but he looks, they're calling him down. Uh, so it's going to be uh, fourth down, and it looks like about three. So it was a good attempt there. Sam almost got by that guy there, Caleb. Yeah, that. almost got him. Yep, but uh, fell just a bit short. And the punting team is out there on fourth down. So Shadyside makes their first stop of the night. That's the first defensive stop we've seen so far here with five minutes and 25 seconds to go in the first quarter. And uh, Zach Sullivan back to punt the ball. Zach Sullivan going to try to get a punt out of this and try to get him back as far as he can. There yep. you go. There they go. Nice job. Looks like the uh, Knights were able to uh, do some play calling there on the hike that uh, got Shady Side off sides on that play. And uh, that is uh, the other coach is not happy about that yeah. call. He's on the field actually screaming and yelling at the officials. They might take this back, but I think Not false there. start. Uh, now Coach Dobb is not happy about that as they have reversed their call on the field. I'm not sure you can do that, though. You can't, I don't think you can call off sides and then reverse it and say, say like that unless. Well, certainly the officials have the right to, to come together and make a change if the other officials feel yeah. like the one guy made a mistake, but. Yeah, the official down there was saying them moving down like that is false start, but they've been doing that for years. Yeah. That, I, I don't uh, think that's false start. Coach Dobb is still not happy about that, but we're gonna have to regroup pretty quickly here and get back in, uh, get back in formation as the play clock is down under 10 seconds. Yeah. They do get it off, and Zach gets off a nice, nice high nice. kick there by Zach. They had some good blocking down there. Let's see what happens out of this. There we go. Nice tackle nice. there on the 33-yard line. Both teams starting relatively close at their both ends of the field. Uh, yeah, we haven't had yeah. any deep deep starts, have we? No, we haven't. Both starting about the 30-yard line, which really isn't that bad. No, it's a good starting yeah. position, that's for sure. So Shady Side starts uh, first and 10 on their own 33-yard line. And uh, so far, Caleb, in the first two possessions, they've been able to move the ball pretty much at will so yeah. far. See if Fairfield Christian can make some adjustments on defense here. Chase goes back and makes the handoff. It's a delayed handoff to number 42. It's that gentleman we talked about yeah. earlier, num Brooks Ramsey, number 42. Strong gain on that play, about six yards. Well, Knights right there looked like, I don't know, it, that was an odd play from Shady Side. It looked like they were going to pass, or first, a double fake almost. Yeah. It was almost similar to the uh, to the play that the Knights use when yeah. they go back to fake the pass and hand it to Sam Perturo there. Second down and four for Shady Side. Once again, a handoff to the same gentleman there. There he goes, Brooks Ramsey up the middle, 50 yard line, 40. They haven't gotten him down yet. Breaks a number of tackles, 30, 20. 10, 5, and he's in the end zone. And there was a host of missed tackles yeah. right there by the Knights. That was arm tackle, at least two of them. Yep. The one I could see from up here was from Nick, and then another one earlier. I didn't quite catch his number, but you could see that Nick was just trying to plow him over, and you can't do that no. against these guys. Now you got to go low on that. Uh, both of their running backs are, are uh, some strong running backs. You need to go low on your tackles. No no arm tackling up high, that's for sure. Wow. I don't I, I, I don't even know if you could call that arm tackling. More like chest tackling. Yeah. Whatever it was, it wasn't effective. Yeah. Wasn't, so. <laughs> Still early in the game, though. Knights hopefully can re regroup here. Shady side is good with the point after, and now it's 14 to seven. And again, we're seeing some points scored pretty quickly here. 
Uh, first period, we have four minutes and 24 seconds left, and it's 14 to seven, Shady yeah, well. Side Tigers. Well, now that we got a break, I'd like to thank Weaver Law Offices for supporting FCA on LSN. They are dedicated to serving all of Central Ohio with competent, qualified, and timely legal assistance at reasonable rates. You can contact them at 614-834-1750 or online at weaver-law.com. Roger Weaver, a name you know, experience you can trust. And I'd also like to thank Ohio Christian University for supporting FCA on LSN. Ohio Christian University is committed to offering a complete education that develops students intellectually, professionally, and spiritually. OCU's degree programs equip students to become leaders in their careers, communities, families, and the world. OCU can be contacted online at ohiochristian.edu. Well, Caleb, you know, you and I talked briefly before the game that we felt like the line play would be the determining oh, factor yeah. in this game. And, and so far it has been. So far has been. The first two drives for Shady's side, they have been able to really open up some big holes. And, and uh, many of us, I think you or I could have run through some of those holes. Yeah. Actually, you could easily. I couldn't. But, uh, anyway. <laughs> well, I, I, I was a lineman when I, would, I played, so I'd, I'd say you'd have just as good a shot as I would. You're being very kind. Here we go with the <laughs> kickoff from Shady's side. A little deeper kick this time to Hayden Welch. Let's see what Hayden can do with it. Hayden takes off and he goes up the middle and gets a nice return to yeah. about the 37, 38 yard line of Fairfield Christian. That's a name we haven't, that's the first time we've heard Hayden's name tonight. He uh, hasn't done much of anything tonight as Shady Side's not letting him. Yeah. Of course, nobody will, especially after he had that six touchdown game against Green. Yeah, that was an incredible game. So far, though, they have also haven't really been focusing on him. And here we go again with this diamond formation over on the right side. Let's see what they do with this one. There's the pass to Sam. Sam gets around the end. Let's see what he can do. It's all right. A good gain of oh, about yeah. six or seven yards for Sam Futuro. It's more like five yards is where okay. they're going to mark it. Um, uh, it's a little deceiving when you look across the field. Six, Yeah, about six yards it looks. It's hard to see. It looks like it's right on that line where it could be five or six. Either way, it's a strong first down. Oh, yeah. And uh, here we go, second down and four or five yards to go for the Knights. And uh, Luke Johnson brings uh, the team up to the line here. Hand off there to Zach Sullivan. Good gain of about two or three yards there for Zach. That's going to put third down a lot more manageable than it was last time around with about, what was it? Seven yards. Yeah. Looks like Shady Side has uh, tightened up a bit on the defensive line there, uh, which you would expect the adjustments to occur after they see the first couple of drives of the Knights. We have third down and two to go here in the first quarter with three minutes and 15 seconds to go. Luke with the handoff to San Fratura gets around the end. First down and more. Wow. Down to the 40 yard line for Sam Fratura. He, he was picked up off the ground. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, number 10 there for Shadyside, uh, what's his name there? Alex Francis making the tackle, picked him up off the ground. He did, he did. Sam is a quick runner, but he's not exactly the heaviest guy in the <laughs> world, so that can happen. Yeah. So we got first down and 10 for the Knights on the 40 yard line of the Shadyside Tigers. Luke back for the pass. Oh, it looks like the officials are stopping the play, which is a going to be a false start. Yeah, that's too bad because Hayden was streaking down the sideline there and, and uh, could have had a good play there. Oh yeah, and even in double coverage, he's getting open. So, you know, Coach Dobbenmeyer said this that it, it, there's not many teams that can cover Hayden Welch, and if uh, if Luke can get that ball out there yeah. on the line there, Hayden's going to make the catch more often than not. Oh yeah, most definitely will. With that penalty, it uh, makes it first down and 15 yards for the Knights. We have the end around for Hayden Welch. Gets around the end, getting some yards, and could go. Looks like he could go down the sideline here. All right, Hayden Welch with a first down, down to the uh, Shady Side 27, 26 yard line. About a like. 19 yard run. Yeah, that was very nice. Got myself pretty excited there. Yeah. Couldn't even finish the <laughs> sentence. That was a nice play. Oh yeah. I tell you, Coach Dobb is really mixing things up oh, tonight. Yeah, he is, and. I mean, you'd have to expect that when you're facing a team that's got the tradition and the stats to back it up. 
to run the ball the way, or to just, you've got to do different things. You do, and so far they are. We have first down and 10 on the shady side, 26 yard line. There's Luke Johnson around the end, fakes the handoff to Hayden, breaks one tackle. Another nice run by there, Luke Johnson. That looked like it should have been a horse collar, but no call. You know, Caleb, I think you're right. That that definitely looked yeah, like it he looked like he grabbed him by, him by the, the horse collar. Yeah. It looked like Coach Dobb was asked for that. You had a host of SCA fans calling for that over there on the sidelines. Again, a nice strong first down pickup for the Knights. I tell you what, when you get into these second and short downs, short yardage plays on second down, you can do a whole host of oh, things yeah. on this play here. Let's see what they do. Another play up the middle for Luke Johnson. Slipped a bit on the handoff there from the uh, center, but still gains. Let's see if they get a yard down. Yeah. It's going to leave third down and one. Again, a very makeable, and you and I both yeah. know Coach Tobinmeyer. It's not It's not third down. He, he's going to use two plays to get this first down. Down here, he'll get down inside the 30. He'll go for it on yeah. fourth, depending on how far it is. Once again, up the middle for Luke, oh, and, and he's a great got it. play, yes. Yeah. You know what Luke is doing there, Caleb, is he's paying attention to the gaps. Yeah. He's watching that line, and if he sees a gap that's wide enough, he's just taking it. Not even sure. Maybe the coach has given him that ability to take a look at the line and make that call on his own. Yeah. Well, I do remember last year um, from playing with them last year that they let Luke make a couple of calls throughout the game and make some decisions, and I think that's just part of being a quarterback. It's part of being an experienced quarterback at that. Yeah. Hand off to Sam Pertura up the middle, and they're all over that one. Yeah. And that's a no gain almost on that Well, play. it looks like he tried to cut to the left thinking there was somebody there. It, you know, it looked like he could have cut to the right and had more of a chance, but. Definitely. If the first quarter's winding down, we'll see if the Knights will have time to get off one more play or if they'll just let the clock run out and take it to the second quarter. I'm guessing that's what they're gonna do here. Looks like they're letting that run down. And so, as we wrap it up here from Jim Rockwell Stadium, your score, Shady Side 14, FCA 7. This is FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by Thompson Concrete, a full service concrete company. Online at thompsonconcrete.com. Service Master Clean by Todd George. They are proud to be the only Green Seal certified janitorial service in Central Ohio and promise to do the job right or do it over. 740-687-1077. Let Mac Gray motivate you or your group for change. You can visit him online at macspeaking.com. Roger Weaver and the Weaver Law Offices online at weaver-law.com. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. To welcome everybody back here. It's your score, Shady Side 14, Fairfield Christian 7. As you see there, there's Coach Dobb telling his boys what to do, and it's second and 10, and it's been a close game here all day, very highly contested. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Caleb, you know, the question about whether Fairfield would be able to stay on the field with Shady Side so far has been answered. Yeah. They're able to compete with them. You're going to have to worry about their defense yeah, tonight. Totally That's what agree. it's looking like. Totally agree. Luke Johnson back for the pass. And that was a dangerous pass yeah. by Luke Johnson. He made a pass into about four defenders right there. That's a play, Caleb, where Luke is just going to need to pull that ball right. down, make another decision, or make a run for yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looked like it looked like he waited a second and aimed a little more forward. He probably had a touchdown, but it, where he was throwing it to and how early he threw it, there was nothing there whatsoever. Yeah. That's where you got to look at your options at that point. That's it. Here we go with third down and ten for the Knights on the shady side, 15-yard line, just just 14-yard line. Tony Welch with the reverse play up the middle. 
And that's a good gain right there. I'm going to be a little bit short of the first down, but he's going to give Coach Dobbs some options here. Fourth down, and I'm going to guess about one or two yards. So here would be one of those positions where you could go for it and you know get a first down, really. They look like they can, or kick the field goal and get points. Well, Coach Dobb is elected to go for it on fourth down and one, a key play here. I would expect a QB sneak. Or not. Hand off to Sam, pushes forward. I don't know about that. It doesn't look like he got it. They had that hole pretty well stuffed with a couple of guys. And He judge, might get forward. No, well, they're going to give it to no, Shady Side. No, it just wasn't enough there. So we have a turnover on down. Shady Side held down at their own five yard line. They'll take the ball over. And Caleb, this is it right here. This is where we need to see if the right. uh, Knights can make some adjustments on defense. Yeah, definitely. Uh, here would be a great position to make a defensive stand. Definitely. Wouldn't a nice three and out would come yeah. in handy right here, wouldn't it? Or a safety. That's true. Safety would be cool too. All right, first down. There's the handoff. There it is again. Nobody Same around play up him. the middle. Nice tackle there. Actually, it looked like it was going to be a lot more, but they yeah. only gained three yards on that play, maybe four. Which is, that was a good play by, uh, I think that was Joey Gall over there making the tackle, just to hang with him and, and long enough for an, some other players to come over and make the tackle. Well, that's it. Against these guys, it's going to take probably more than one person to take these guys down. We're going to need to have some gang tackling yeah. going on here. Got four Ben down on, on the line now. Second down and six for Shadyside. And there, there's Chase Kinnamond again with the uh, keeper. Some confusion down there on Shadyside's end. Looked like it, but either way, it's a uh, play that nets only about a yard. So we're going to have ourselves third down and five, and uh, this is exactly what we were hoping the yeah. Knights would be able to do, is to make this a, a tough stand. So let's see what they do on third down. And in comes Ben Toven, and Ben tobin has been known to be the animal on defense. Him, Joey Gall, and Brian Miller. Yep. Uh, here we go, third down and five for Shady Side on their own 10-yard line. And there's the play up the middle again for number 42, Brooks Ramsey. And yeah, and he's got a first down by a long shot. He does. It, it, uh, that's the play that's working, and, and they're basically saying to us, until you stop us, we're just going to continue to make that run there. Well, they're they're running the uh, – they're starting to do this draw play. That's all they've run the whole night. They haven't done a normal run all night. And the draw seems to be getting the Knights off guard because it looks like they're worrying about the pass a little bit. Yeah. Which they kind of have to after that touchdown. First down and 10, and there's the play up the middle with uh, Nets about two or three yards for Shady Side. And now there's Ben Tobin in on that tackle. So far, number 42, Brooks Ramsey for Shady Side is carrying the bulk of the load for the Shady Side Tigers. He's their workhorse, but he's probably gained, yeah. he's probably run the ball about 10 times already. Has to have at least 50 yards running. Just already. Well, yeah, that one touchdown run was quite a, uh, quite a play there. Here we have second down and eight. For Shady Side. And there's that draw again. Yeah. It's oh, a, it's they definitely a delayed it handoff. There's yeah. no doubt about it. And the Knights are starting to pick up on that a little bit. And on that play, they were able to keep it. It almost uh, looks two, like a draw yeah. reverse. Yeah. Because they're handing him off one way and blocking that way, and then he cuts back where there isn't anybody. We have third down and six here for Shady Side on their own 26-yard line. So this is the second straight third down. Let's see if the Knights can clamp down and uh, force a turnover here on downs. And there's that. No, there's looks like handoff. the keeper now. So that's a fake play there. Good play. Chase Kinnaman makes a man miss there and gets the first down. Man, you don't know who has the ball with this team. Yeah. I'd say a gain of about 10 yards, and that puts them on their own 36-yard line. Yeah. Shadyside Tigers are definitely uh, having their way with us so far on offense. Yeah. Uh, Knights definitely need to, the linebackers more so have a little more responsibility on that end than the linemen of keeping track of who has the ball. Hand off again to number 42, burst up the middle. He's got a good, big gain there. Nice tackle by Sam Futuro. Chops him down there at about the 42-yard line, but nonetheless, another gain of roughly, what's that, about 25 yards? Yeah. Knights have got to stop him. They cannot afford to give up this many yards continuously. 
all night long. We have a uh, first down for Shady Side on the Knights side of the football field now at their own at the Knights 41 yard line. Shady Side is marching down the field once again. Here's the handoff to the fullback. That's number 32 for Shady Side. I have forgotten his name momentarily. That is uh, Alexander Quinn. There is the thing with Shady Side. Doesn't look so much like it's their lines making big holes as much as it's they're running backs just running where there isn't people. Yep. That's a gain of four for Shady Side. We now have second down and six on the Fairfield Christian Knights 37 yard line. And there's a handoff. Got a. Looks like we might have a horse collar on that one. They, they, uh, I believe he grabbed him by the shoulder pads. Maybe not. Oh, I think there's a holding call there. Oh, Caleb, you know, you're right. I stand corrected on that play. Chop block. Wow, that's a huge penalty. That's a 15-yard penalty. Well, and that's the kind of, so. kind, of, kind of break the Knights might need to uh, maybe turn a little bit of this momentum around. Yeah. Takes it all the way back to about the 40 seven yard line of Shady Side, and that's gonna bring up a second down and, and a mile. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> about 21 yards. That's a huge play. They got two first downs to go right here. It's the Knights with a huge opportunity. There's the handoff, Chase Kinneman keeps the ball, and this time the uh, Knights saw that play coming. Yeah. But you know, he's an elusive runner. If you notice that, there wasn't a lot of space, but he found a way to gain about four yards out of nothing. I think that's what makes Shady Side so dangerous is their quarterback, because if, you've know, if you're watching it, you can't, he's doing these fakes so well, you can't really tell who has the ball and who doesn't. Well, that's exactly right, Caleb. And so the Knights are gonna have to be extremely disciplined on defense. Third down and 18. I would suspect we're gonna see a pass now. Yeah. And there he is, back to pass, some pressure on him. Gets off a great pass down the sideline. Oh, But number man. 20, Cody Hudson, was not able to haul that ball in. Looked like it wasn't too far off from being right on the line there. Yeah. Not quite sure exactly why they weren't able to get that one, but nonetheless, it's fourth down and 18. And Looks like it just went through his hands. Yeah, it did. The uh, Shady Side's gonna be punting the ball. Interestingly enough, if you look at who's punting right now, that's the quarterback, <laughs> Chase Kinneman. So, he does everything for him. Yeah, we might, uh, Fairfield Christian might want to watch just to make sure. You don't lose a lot here if yeah. you do a fake from that uh, part of the field. Well, he's laying it up really shallow, too. No, he's kicking it away. Kicks it off, and it goes to Hayden Welch, who lets it bounce. I'm a little surprised Hayden did that. Nice take down, down on the 10 the yard line. So Knights deep in their territory. Got to make a big play here. I'd like to let you know that second quarter action on FCA and LSN is brought to you in part by Fairfield Mini Storage, the place to store your personal or business goods in a clean, dry unit within a gated facility. They have outside storage for RVs and boats, and they are Lancaster shorts for Penske truck rentals. Fairfield Mini Storage is located at 2230 East Main Street in Lancaster, or you can find them on the web at ffministorage.com. They're our second quarter sponsor here on FCI on LSN. And here we go again with another diamond formation for the Knights. They pass it off to San Futuro, and Ooh. again, the pass is offline. I'll go backwards, because that was behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that's that's exactly right, Caleb, and they're spotting the ball on the five-yard line of the Knights. They, they, it looks like Sam and, and uh, Luke, Luke hook up yeah, on they're, that. they're not quite in sync on that play. going to bring up a second down and 16 as they lost a number of yards yeah, on that that's play. That's huge. That's a big deal down here this close to the field. Yeah. Uh, at the goal line, forgive me. One of those things where you'd like to throw it straight. <laughs> There's the handoff to Sam Fraturo on the uh, fake draw play there. On the, I'm sorry, delayed draw play. Looks like Sam cut the wrong way there. and It looks like he might have cut got a bit more yardage had he gone to the left. But yeah. Of course, we have the advantage of seeing all right, the holes up here. Up here. Up top, so. But uh, nonetheless, it's third down and 14. Huge so. third down, so they need a huge play here. And Shady Side's defense has been playing really well, except for that. I mean, and in, in FCA's offense has been playing rather well as well. So, you know, I mean, they've been moving the ball, and Shady Side's been stopping when they need to. 
Looks like we have an offsides play against Shady Side, and that's certainly going to help the uh, Knights with this third down play. And they definitely can't call false start on FCA. They're all getting down in their position. Yeah, <laughs> so that's going to bring up a third down and nine yards for Fairfield Christian. That, uh, not only does it help with the third down, but in case they don't make it, it helps with the punting. Let's see what they can do here, though, on third down and nine. Luke passes the ball. Uh, looks like the pass goes to Bobby Paturo. It was a catch, but it's short. Not sure what Dobb will do here. It looks like he's going to punt it. You almost have to this yeah. close. I'm sure for Coach Dobbenmeyer, uh, he thinks about that for a second or two because he, like you said, he's a very aggressive, uh, coach. aggressive coach. But but even aggressive coaches need to make calls like exactly. this and, and uh, not take a chance this close to their own goal line. Well, I mean, in, in his defense, his aggressiveness has won him three or four state titles. Definitely. So, so you can't really go against what they're doing over what he's been doing. No. Uh, I mean, and there have been times in the past where, you know, there have been some calls of his where people have said, now we could have done something else and maybe not have lost so much. But, you know, you can't really go against the coach who's been coaching for, for so many years. No. Not at all, Caleb. Fourth down and a two for the Knights. Zach Sullivan back for the punt. Nice punt. That's another nice punt by Zach. Let's see what happens here. Oh, you got to let that guy catch the ball. I'm a little surprised they haven't thrown a flag. Yeah, there it is. My guess I, is I we're don't know see how an much interference play on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be able to let the uh, the guy catch the ball, and and uh, we the Pray for Christian Knights are not able to do that. Yeah. That is going to take the ball a lot deeper into Fairfield Christian Academy uh, territory here. And FCA has got to got to stand here. They've got to do what they did last time. <laughs> yeah. Although they did catch a big break. They did. They did. We're going to have a. Uh, Interference play here by the punt team, and that's going to be a penalty on the Knights and take the ball down to what looks to be about the 36-yard uh, line. I'm sorry, stand corrected, 44-yard line of the Knights. Five-yard penalty only. Yeah. But a very lucky. Yeah. yeah, very lucky that that was only a five-yard penalty. And uh, yeah, so they're going to start about the Knights 44, which. That's doable for the Knights. They can defend against that. There you go. That oh, was a wow. nice play there. Uh, he Chase, won't get anything. Yeah, Chase Kinneman. I tell you, he's elusive. He made yeah. the first guy miss, but um, FCA pick is picking up on it now. Yeah, they're, they're starting to they're get starting on to. It. You're absolutely right. And, and that's what good coaching gives you. You know, mm -hmm. the uh, the Knights have a strong coaching staff, and coaches are watching these plays and making the adjustments necessary. And they need to continue to do that as Shady Side is such a strong team. So we have second down and ten. Uh, pretty much no gain on that play. Knights in a, a three-five. It looks like right now. There's that play up the middle again, and and once again, uh, Brooks Ramsey takes the ball down to the Knights' 30-yard line for a first down. And uh, that is a bread and butter yeah, play yeah. for Shady Side. It's working almost every single time. Shady Side's only thrown twice and <laughs> they haven't had to throw I mean they've been running the ball up and down the, the field this is first down and 10 on the Knights 30 yard line with uh, four minutes to go in the first half Chase Kinneman back and hands the ball off to Brooks Ramsey again and this time the Knights snuff that one out and a uh, play of about uh, three yards for Shady side I thought he would only get about a yard yeah. or two but uh, he was able to fight for that extra yard FCA is doing this th three five almost you could almost call it a 5-3 because of uh, you have the two gunners on the outside that go straight in every time to contain. So it's almost a 5-3, yeah. almost. Second down and seven for the Tigers. Take the ball and they hand it off once again to Brooks Ramsey and, and they were all in over nowhere. that one. Yes, Bobby Futuro and Ben Tobin made a great tackle there. And that's pretty much what they're gonna have to do. Yeah, they've gotta do that all night. Yeah. That's going to take us to a third down and seven for the Knights with uh, just about three minutes to go here in the first half. And here's another critical play, third and seven. If they yeah. can make this stop here, depending on what type of yardage they gain, uh, they may force Shady Side into something uh, like a field goal perhaps. And 
Although we might be in two down territory here. Third down and seven. Katie side back and they hand it off to Ramsey again who sidesteps one man and gets down to the 20 yard line. That's and I'm gonna be a fourth yeah. down. Well, I believe he's got enough for a first down there, Caleb, it looks like. Depends on, yeah, yep. there it is, there first it down. Is. So there it is. They had a third and seven, and they were not able to stop that uh, play to Brooks Ramsey, yeah. who so far is the uh, <laughs> dominant player in the game. SCA's got to be able to stop that. They can't. They can't be letting that be. I uh, let that happen. They've got to be able to stop that, especially when it's third and seven. That's right. First down and ten for the Tigers at the uh, SCA 20-yard line. There's the handoff. Oh, Chase Kinnaman keeps it, and Bobby Fatura does a nice job of tracking him down from behind and uh, perhaps a gain of one. I'm telling you what, Bobby is a really good defensive and offensive player. He kind of lives in the shadow of his brother Sam just a bit there, but he really is an outstanding player himself. We got a uh, second down and a little less than 10 for the Tigers with uh, two minutes to go here in the uh, first half. So the Tigers are eating up the clock, keeping the uh, defense on the field. Kinnaman goes back and hands it to Brooks Ramsey. Little bit again, another nice play there by Joey Gall, number 51, and that will keep uh, keep that to about a two to three yard gain. It's going to bring us to about a third and seven for the Tigers. Again, I have to believe Caleb that yeah. we're in two down territory down here. Oh, I, four down territory, yeah, yeah most definitely. Yeah. yeah, that's what I meant. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Although we aren't, I'm not too sure that if they're back here and it's fourth and seven, let's say they get a stop, saying they do. I'm not too sure the coach would. I bet you'd take the field goal, possibly. Help him make that play. Oh, there it is, a nice screen pass out to number 32, who gets down to the Fairfield Christian Knights two-yard line. And uh, that was a nice play-action pass. You see, that's what happens exactly. when, uh, when your running game is so successful. Mm -hmm. That sets up a play-action, and it freezes your linebackers. Number 32. Alexander Quinn was able to come out of the backfield for an easy pitch and catch down yeah. the Grateful Christian Knights three yard line. Well, Knights defensive line definitely needing to st step it up here and make some more penetration. It's definitely going to be a long night for them. First down and 10 at the three yard line, handoff to Brooks Ramsey, and he's fighting for the yards and gets down to about the one yard line. Again, that's Joey Gall with the tackle, and, and Joey has stepped up here. The key for the Knights is consistently able to stop, being oh, able yeah. to stop Shady Side on all of the downs. Mm -hmm. Shady Side quickly back up to the line as the clock is indeed running down to 35 seconds in the first half. So there's some urgency here for them. Second down and two. And the Knights look like they've stopped that yeah. one as well. It's going to force uh, Shady Side to call a timeout, and they do. Down to 22 seconds left in the half. It's going to be third down and goal. I believe that's uh, Shady Side's first timeout, I believe. So they have a couple to, to spare here. Yeah. So. Well, this, and go ahead. You know, you, you, you know, they're they're definitely going to try to pound it in. I couldn't see them trying anything else unless they try doing a little screen like they did a little bit earlier, but. I mean, this close down, Shady Side, the type of team they are, it looks like they're just going to try to pound it in there as hard as they can. Well, and why not, right? I mean, so far they have been able to pretty much dominate the line of scrimmage right. and uh, get the yards they need at the key times. I got to believe that uh, number 42, Brooks Ramsey, is going to see this ball. And oh, yeah. again, he is a, a bruiser and the uh, type of runner that is able to get yards when it's necessary. So we'll see what happens he's here a, on third down. He's a bruiser and a and a speed back. He's one of those backs that they'll, they'll call in the video games a balanced back. Yeah. Good. He's fast and he's powerful. Yeah, you're right, because on, on that earlier uh, touchdown run he had, he broke open in the, mid, in the field there and was able to distance himself from the defense. Yeah. So. Shady Side's coming out here, and uh, the defense is definitely, I, I feel like Coach is going to be screaming what they screamed and facing the Giants, Stonewall. Stonewall. <laughs> That's what they need, a Stonewall, Caleb. Third down and two, 22 seconds to go here in the first half. And there it is. There we got there a fumble. Fumble. Got a fumble on the play. And ACA stops. There it is. Wow. And you know what, Caleb? You called that play. Wow. That's right out of facing the Giants. Remember <laughs> that play? That yeah. Stonewall forced to fumble. That is exactly what the Fairfield Christian Knights would definitely want in that needed position. right there. Yeah. 
So this is a play now. They're on their own two-yard line now, so they're going to need to be careful with 17 If you can watch that again at home, if you're watching on YouTube right now, I encourage you to go back and check that play out again. You've got 42, I believe that was Ben Tobin, just sticks his head right in where the football yeah, is. That's yep. what they tell you to do. That's exactly right. 46, Ben Tobin did that, so that was a great play on Ben's part. And here we go. That was a smart play call yeah. right there. No sense in pitching it back to okay. Sam in the end zone. Play clock's not moving. Yeah, there you go. The play clock was taken down at 12.9. Yeah. But uh, that was a very wise play by uh, FCA. by FCA because again, no well, sense in pitching it back with 17 seconds. Well, and you've to got go. uh, Shady Side back there in what they call a quarter, where you have three linemen and then eight DBs. Yeah. All back, just waiting for it. And that's that's prevent defense is what that is. But um, huge play here for the Knights. Knights. If they can do something, if I don't think Coach will, but if they wanted to, they could try for a big play, but I don't yeah. think Coach is going to try to do that. Yeah, not, you know, from their own five-yard line, I mean, again, uh, there's reasons why you and I are up here and yeah, down exactly. there on the field, but but I'd have to bet that, that he is uh, going to pretty much sit this one down and try and go to yeah. the uh, go to the half. One of the things that they can really take with them to the uh, locker room is that tremendous defensive stand there. Oh, that's yeah. That's a momentum that's builder. That's huge. And, uh, tremendous and they're going to come in, and then they're going to get the ball coming in from the half, too. I mean, and, and that's huge. Instead of being down 21-7, to seven, they're down 14-7, to seven, and it's still a ball game. I mean. Well, you know, lots of times turnovers are the difference in a game. Oh, yeah. And Shadyside has had two very key turnovers. If you remember on the very yeah, first, very first play, play of the game, their quarterback was well, looked like he was going for a touchdown, fumbled the ball. We recovered. On and the, I don't even think anybody hit him. I think he just lost control of the yeah, ball. Yeah, he was switching hands, it looked like. So here we have second down and eight, and you are definitely right. Shady side is in a prevent. Defense. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, he only got one guy down. I am stunned that they passed the ball. And uh, there it is, though. It's uh, well, 10 didn't seconds move there to go. Either. Looks like the play clock is going to be stopped again. And it's a timeout. Oh, no, it's first down. I'm sorry. It's a first down. Nine seconds to go. And now Coach Dobbenmeyer calls timeout for the Fairfield Christian Knights with nine seconds to so go. So it looks like Dobbs kind of try to formulate something here. And that's going to be hard to formulate something where you can throw when you've got eight DBs. Yeah, it really is, and, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Coach Dobbenmeyer does here on this first down play with right. nine seconds to go. You want to be, you, you know, it's it, in, a, in, a, in a game like this against a team like Shady Side, you, know, you, you, need, you need to go for it on, on, right. on certain plays, but you also need to be smart right. and, uh, and, and make sure that your play calling isn't playing into the hands of the other team's strength. Exactly. So let's see what happens here on this play. Well, it's going to be interesting because, you know, Dobb is aggressive. I mean, he's just far right when it comes to uh, play calling as he is uh, in the political spectrum. I mean, <laughs> he's an aggressive coach. That he is. So <laughs> That he is. Here we go. First down and 10 from their own 13-yard line with nine seconds to go. Same prevent uh, defense and play here for the Shadyside Tigers. We have the... Uh, that's oh, a wow. nice play by the uh, yeah. defense. It, you know what's, what's sad about that play right there is it that... It could have gone for a lot. There were only three guys on the line for Shady Side, and, and that guy was able to get in there and tackle Sam on that play. Well, you know what? There we go. End of the first half. It's 14-7 to Shady Side Tigers against the Fairfield Christian Knights. A uh, really entertaining first half. Yes, indeed. And stay tuned. We're going to have the uh, Shady Side High School Marching Band coming out here shortly. Hope you enjoy. Be right back. flashlight and the batteries? Yes. Did you make sure we're not missing anything in the first aid kit? Yep. Did you go through the plan with the kids again? Yes. The more you prepare today, the more you'll be able to reduce the devastating effects of a tornado, an earthquake, a power outage, or any other disaster. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed. Visit ready.gov.
gentlemen, the Tiger Marching Band features its percussion section with samurai drums. Fairfield Mini Storage is located on East Main Street in Lancaster. We'll find them online at ffministorage.com.
InFocus Consulting, the data agency. Online at InFocusConsulting.com. Redeemer Lutheran Church and Dr. Jack Davidson. You can visit them online at RedeemerLancaster.org. The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Available online at funeralhome.com. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. And welcome everybody back here to Jim Rockwell Stadium here in New Lexington. Your score, Shadyside 14, Fairfield Christian 7. And we've got a great game as we were, we were saying there at halftime and a great halftime show to boot from the Shadyside Marching Tigers. And uh, we got 2.30 here before the kickoff for the second half. Uh, kicks off and uh, it's been yeah. a good game so far. Yeah, it really has, Caleb, and it's uh, it's everything that it was billed to be. I think Shady Side came into this game uh, with a four and three record, a uh, little bit of a deceiving record because yeah. uh, their three losses were against some perennial state powers. Well, and, and their four uh, hot wins were against perennial yeah, state so powers. They are a too. strong team. Yeah, and, and this was a uh, barometer game for the Knights. This was oh, yeah. the game where we would see if uh, the team could play with the big boys. And, yeah, and you know what? Looking like they can. 14-7 at the half. So far, so good on that front. Oh, yeah. Now it'll be interesting to see if they can uh, get over the hump and and uh, take the second half and, and uh, win the game. Well, I think definitely uh, FCA definitely in a lot better shape than some had predicted coming into this game. Uh, a lot of people not thinking we'd come away with a win here. Yeah. Then there are a lot of people who think we will. And, you know, I'm one of those people that believe in the Knights, and I think they can do well. And But, you know, I, I, I also know how good Shadyside is. Shadyside is, they are the they are the men yeah. in Ohio. Yeah. Well, their fundamentals are just excellent. Oh, yeah. You, you can see it on their on their uh, blocking and their tackling. I mean, they they know how to create space. They know how to create holes for their running backs. Mm -hmm. They have a couple of running backs that that obviously just it's really just know how to hit those holes, you know, <laughs> and they do. They get through the line, and uh, then it's off to the races for oh, them. Yeah. So they're a good team. They and definitely are. And, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people you know, remember this game. I mean, this was a game we picked up right towards the end or at the end of the school year last year it just kind of came about where we're like well, let's strengthen the schedule and we somehow got in contact with shady side and went oh let's get a game with them they yeah. were state runner ups last that's year that's right well and they, and they didn't just they didn't just stop there either they so got youngstown, they got christian, youngstown and, christian and then of and course notre dame which came back which we yep. ended up losing that but I mean, that was a good game for the Knights to really, again, another barometer game. I mean, they were able to hang with them. I mean, it may have only been a, it, it may have looked like Notre Dame was in charge of it the whole game. Right. But the scoreboard doesn't reflect that very well. I mean, it was a 10 to six game that could have very well been, could have gone either way, really. Yeah, agreed, Caleb. And as the uh, halftime ends here, we're getting ready to kick off here. The Knights, uh, if you remember, won the opening toss and they deferred to the second half. And uh, the advantage with doing that is, is that after that great defensive stand at the end of the first half, they now get the ball. And, and so often you see in these types of situations where a great ending to a first half can parlay itself into a fantastic oh, yeah. opening second half. And that was huge because one of the big things I think that happened there is the Knights, I don't know how much it was a we're uh, it was a we're still in this mo moment and it was also a way to keep morale up because when you're down seven points that's a lot better than being down by 14. yeah and that mean, was a huge play. oh yeah and again that's a great credit, tackle yeah credit uh, ben tobin there yeah that. not only did it make a good hit but he put the helmet right on the ball right on the ball yeah and it just went whoop. so we're here getting ready to start off the second half Beautiful night. The rain has passed us by now, and just a slight breeze here. Short kickoff, and uh, it's received and downed at about the 29-yard line of uh, Fairfield Christian, where so, they will uh, start off with first down and 10. FCI is going to try to come out here and 
Coach is going to try to score right off the bat. He's going to want to get points on there and tie this ball game up and, and get it back to where it was at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. That's really a need of a score here. That would totally change the Looks momentum. Looks like they're uh, going back to that uh, diamond formation again. We'll see what they do here. It hasn't worked out for them so far today. No, not yet. Oh. Oh, that may be a fumble. We'll see. Uh, either way, FCA recovers it. Yeah, it, 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 it sure looks like Shady side has uh, put the horses over there on that side now to defend that play. And uh, it, I don't think that play's really working for the Knights so no, far. It just, it's a loss of one on that yeah. play. Second down and 11. And again, it might be time to get back to the uh, bread, bread and, and butter. butter. Let's see what happens here. Oh, oh well, they're coming out we go. shotgun. <laughs> again, that's again why as we say that. Yeah, we're up here. For and they're reason. down there. We are up here for a reason. And, and looks like a timeout was called right at the last second by Shady Side as they recognized they did not have timeout, the right Shady defensive side. personnel on the field, or at least the right play yeah. called on defense. So uh, yeah. called a timeout there just before Fairfield had snapped the ball. Well, again, they're coming out and a Wildcat just shot it right back to Sam Futuro and. It looked like he was just going to take off. And, you know, with Luke at quarterback, he's a very unconventional quarterback because he'll go out there and block and he'll hit. Oh, yeah. Most people don't get that from quarterbacks, but Luke will nail you in the mouth if yep. he gets the chance. Yeah, he's a quarterback that really likes being a linebacker. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's so a quarterback that would would like to play line. Yeah. Exactly is what it is. So well, you know, and what's important about that play right there is that timeout by Shady Side is very early in the second half. Yeah. This is a close game. That and they could come back to that. haunt exactly. them later on. So again, the play calling of uh, Fairfield Christian has forced uh, oh, uh, to do it again. Coming out in a shotgun diamond. But look, they still have two over the top of Hayden there. Pass two up oh dear. a little high there. You know, that's too bad because that play was there. That, oh, yeah. That, that ball had been caught. Hayden was on a seam route, and he had nobody in front of him. That would have been a six. Uh, that would have that been a been touchdown, six. no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure Coach is going to look to exploit that. I mean, even with double coverage, they're playing off of him, however. Yeah, they are. I would think if I was Shady Side's coach, I'd play pressure coverage on him. Third down and 11. And uh, they are once again back in that diamond formation. So let's see what they do here. Coach is playing aggressive. There's the pass down the field to. Oh, over yeah. top. Yeah, that's, that's that was there too. Colin Young was uh, was there. The ball was just overthrown. And uh, unfortunately, it's a, uh, a three and out yeah. for the uh, Fairfield Christian Knights. But I think the Knights still come away with a little bit of, we can do something different and be uh, do, uh, they may not have done it there, but I think they can still be successful with it, as we saw. It's just going to take a bit of better throwing on Luke's part. Yep. Yeah, The, uh, the there's a, a tough snap uh, picked up. Oh, it looks like Sullivan. Good play by Zach, at least to uh, to pick up the ball, avoid the defender, yeah. and get that kick off. It was not a great kick, not but again, all. you gotta you got to understand the situation there. Yeah. Zach very easily could have been tackled in the backfield there for a significant loss. As it is now, um, it is first down for Shady Side on the Fairfield Christian Academy Knights side of the field. And they got, a, FCA got a generous spot because I thought it went out at the 40 and they're yeah. putting it out at the 44. That was a nice play by Zach there. It yeah. really was to uh, to react and, and make something good out of something that could have been terrible. Yeah, that could have been game over right there. So here we go. It's the Knights defense's turn now to try and put a stop on here. There's the handoff to number 42, Brooks Ramsey again, and he breaks through the middle, and he's still fighting for yards, gets down to the Fairfield Christian Knights 33-yard line. Yeah, that's going to be a first, uh, down. first down. FCA, uh, it looks like they might have had him early, but, uh, man, he, he fights. He is a fighter. So they move the chains for Shady Side, and... They, they have to be uh, yeah. well, well over 100 yards rushing. I'm oh, thinking closer to most 200. Definitely. I don't have the stats in front of me, but it's been a very strong night for number 42, Brooks Ramsey. First down, and there's the handoff to him again, and why not? Oh, boy. Oh, and great play there. Ben Tobin not letting that happen. Yeah, I tell you, when, when they don't get a hat on Ben Tobin, they don't have alignment on Ben Tobin. Oh, they had alignment on him. He just stuck his arm out and grabbed him. Yeah. No, they didn't have somebody on him that time. I watched that play, and, and he was he was yeah. clear on that one. But 
but you're right, most of the time he does have someone on him. and, and uh, He looked like he was coming off a block and just was in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Nice play there by Ben. So second down and 11, that was a loss of one. Oh, back to pass. A little bit of pressure, and oh uh, because uh, that pressure yeah. is what caused that pass to be high there. Mm -hmm. Who and brought the pressure ben on that Tobin. one? There it is. <laughs> yep. And, uh, you know, Ben Ben's been nicked up a little bit these last couple games the with a little bit of, of a neck stinger. Yeah. And uh, but he has brought his A game tonight. Yeah. If you look there on Ben, you can see he's wearing a neck brace. Yep. And uh, last year it was an ankle injury that kept him out a lot. And, he still played hard. That's one thing you got to like about Ben Tobin is he will play hard no matter what's wrong with him. Third down and 11 for Shadyside. Key play here for the Knights defense. And uh, Kinnaman keeps the ball, goes around the end. He's got some blockers and the missed tackle there by Sam Perturo and he gets down to about the 20 yard line. Yeah, that's going to be a first down. Uh, it's going to be a little bit, yeah, there it is. You're right, first down. That again, that, that, that Chase Kinnaman does a great oh, job yeah. of faking you out. Very elusive. We really, uh, even up here, I mean, it, it's got to be even harder on the down there on the field to see who's got the ball because we're standing up here and we can't really tell. That's right. They have uh, perfected that play, obviously, during their practice sessions. Cause, oh, yeah. Uh, they've got it down. First down and uh, 10 yards to go for a first down on the 20 yard line. There's the handoff. Uh, to the hand off. No, yeah, the fullback. That's right. And <laughs> the Knights did a good job. I and tell you. It's Tobin again. Yeah, it is. Tobin's ben Tobin, fired up. Zach Sullivan. There was a few of them in there. This is important. This is a very important defensive stand for Fairfield Christian. You know, you don't want to fall too many scores behind right. a team like Shady Side. Well, if they can stop them here or force a turnover, that'd be huge. Second down and 10. Oh. And there's their second oh, wow. timeout. That's going to be huge. Yeah. They're this down to one timeout already. That's exactly right. We're not even five minutes into the half yet. Yeah, they, they obviously did not like what they saw. Um, I think the play clock had time if, if it looked like it was down to about 10 seconds. So they obviously just didn't like what they saw. They've used yeah. their second timeout, and that leaves them one for the remainder of this half. Oh, and if the Knights keep up doing whatever they're doing, they could end up with none. You got to play that timeout, though. I mean, that. I don't think a lot of people really realize how much that timeout helps and how important that is. And it, I mean, that's a play in and of itself as a timeout. Knights go back on the field for this very important uh, second down and 10 bit of discussion going on there with the officials and the shady side coaches not sure what that's all about coaches over there have been uh, talking an awful lot to the officials yeah. and you know shady side isn't the program that they are without coaches that oh, really yeah. know how to well they've got a big coach. coaching staff over they there they do and mark holenka is their head coach and he's in his third year coaching for them and uh, doing a great job taking oh, yeah, them all the way to the state definitely. finals last year there's the handoff Goes around the left side. Nowhere. Now he gets about five yards on that play. So it's going to bring up an important third down and five. And we're looking, uh, looking out here about 8.30 left. And they're down on the Knights 15. And this is a huge stop for the Knights. If they can stop them here, they could potentially get the ball back. Kenneman with the handoff there. And nice Tobin. Tobin again. Wow. I tell you, Ben Tobin is on his game tonight. That's that's going to bring up a fourth down and four, fourth down and five. And, uh, you know, based on their point after attempts, I'm not sure they have a field goal kicker that they feel like they can give yeah, this ball Yeah, it looks like to. they're going for it. So here it is. I mean, so far the Knights have come up big on big plays, and uh, here we are again, fourth down and four. The Knights got to keep an eye on Kinnaman because I'm telling you what, he is elusive, and they're coming out in a tight shotgun formation. You know, and, and uh, there it is, and there's the uh, handoff, and it's a fake to, oh, he gets up the field, and it looks like they have stopped him, I believe. And that's going to be Knights' ball. 
like Sammy came up limping a little bit on that one. He doesn't come up past. Yeah, that's Knight's ball. A huge stop for FCA. Yeah, it really is. The defense uh, really came, rose to the occasion on that one. Uh, it was 7.30 left here in the third quarter. By the way, I'd like to tell you, this third quarter action is brought to you by Ohio University Lancaster, uh, where the class sizes are small, and so you get to know the faculty who cares about you and your success, and so you can discover your promise and everything at uh, lancaster.ohiou.edu. First down and 10 for the Knights on their own 13-yard line. Looks like they're back, and, and the Knights calling are calling a timeout. timeout now. Some confusion over there. Yep. They were in that wildcat formation yeah, again. Yeah, again. And, and, you know, and, and this is new for the Knights. I mean, the Knights did this last year against uh, Grove City Christian and against Newark Catholic. And uh, it was just they're trying to confuse. And I would count on not seeing this very much more often <laughs> the rest yeah. of the year because they save stuff like this for the big dogs. And, you know, it's uh, it's getting to that point, though, Caleb, where they need to get to just move the ball. Yeah, and they're going to need to get uh, Hayden Welch in the yeah. game. Well, they, they're they gonna haven't have gotten anything start. out of him. Yeah, but, well, just a, just a couple of short passes, but, you know, give credit to Shady's side. I mean, they're playing a defense on him that is designed to take him away, but right. he has proven against other teams that even with that type of a defense, he can still get the ball oh, and yeah. do something. So they got to throw the ball to him. They well, I think him. some of – there were a couple times there where Luke looked like he was – had like Hayden was wide open and Luke just needed to throw the ball to him. So here they are, they're in that Wildcat formation again. It's uh, first down and 10 for the Knights. And Direct Wild snap to Sam. Sam Perturo gets up to about the 16 yard line. It looks like a gain of two or three, three yards perhaps. And that's an interesting thing from the Knights to have your quarterback be your lead, play as a fullback pretty yeah. much. I mean. You don't see that that often, like ever. You'll normally see them, even at any level, just throw your quarterback way out to the side and That's say, uh, "Good luck to you." Back to what we talked about before. Luke likes to likes, likes to, hit. to hit. He's a linebacker. Second He's a down player. and seven for the Knights here. Snap to Johnson this time. Back for the pass. Goes deep and way overthrows his oh. man. Luke put too much on that. And there was a little bit of confusion there. We had yeah. two receivers almost in the exact same location, yeah. which you typically don't want to see. Right. Well, you had Ben Tobin down there at the same, about the same spot, and you had Bobby, Bobby. Ferturo down there in about the same spot. And I think I, I think what happened there is, uh, not Bobby, but uh, Ben didn't know where he needed to be. Could be. Um, and nonetheless, it's third down and seven. And, and this is an important third down. Yeah. Knights need to convert on this play. Knights going back into their, their I formation. There's the reverse to Hayden who makes the first man miss. He's got to make somebody else miss. He breaks oh, that wow. tackle, still moving, gets up to about the 20 yard line. You know, that was, it, it's not going to show in the stats. That was a yeah. great run. Unfortunately, it fell short. Yeah. And we now have fourth down and about four yards to go. So, you know what's happening right now is Shady Side is getting penetration. Yeah. You're getting penetration in there. And um, that is that is definitely disrupting the mm -hmm. plays, whether it be the Wildcat or or those reverse handoffs. And so, so far in this second half, the, uh, the plays are occurring on the night side of the football field. And we, there we go, we had a bad snap on that one. And, and uh, they're gonna call kicking on that. Well, looks like uh, Zach Sullivan did the only thing he could do, which was kick the ball out of the end zone. Yeah. Which by right should be a safety, I believe, but there is a flag thrown, not sure why that is. I think it's for kicking the football. Yep, kicking the football on him. They're going to decline it. Imagine that's a safety. Imagine actually kicking on fourth down and punting. <laughs> okay, so that's a safety, I believe. 16-7 yeah. now, and uh, that means we'll be kicking it away to Shady Side. So here, uh, here's the Knights. They're going to come out and kick it. And two points is a lot better than what that could have been right there. Yeah, that's a, that's a heads-up play by Zach. Yeah. And 
even though we got a penalty, that was that was a good play. Yeah. 16-7 here at uh, New Lex Fields. 6.31 to go in the third period. Yeah. And the Knights will be kicking off now to uh, Shadyside Tigers from their own 20. And That's Hayden's what happens. He's got to use that like it is right now. Yeah, he really does. He needs to punch that ball deep. Otherwise, we'll find uh, the Knights back in their own side of the field again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that was a good squib kick by, by Hayden and picked up at the 35-yard line. Returned by uh, that number 32 for Shady Side takes yeah. it right to midfield. And yep. again, I uh, number 24. Excuse me. I'm sorry, number 24. That would be Ian Baker. And so Knights gonna try to come up with another defensive stand. I mean, Shady Side hasn't had much offense scoring wise. No, they have it since the first quarter. Sometime in the first quarter. But one of the things that's happening is our defense is spending an awful lot of yeah. time on the field. Exactly. And uh, that normally begins to show itself in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's going to be important for us to make a stop here pretty quickly and yeah. start going on the offensive here. Well, hopefully the Knights here can stop them and get get their traditional offense out there. Kinnaman around the end to the left side. Gets some good blocks. He's still on his feet. Hit from behind. And down could to be the a first down. Could Yeah, they're calling yeah, it second they are. down. Oh, they are? Okay. Yeah. So. Ah, it looks to I me like he's made that one, but let's see. Nope, he's short. Okay. Yep. Just short by about a half a yard. But again, that Kinnaman, I mean, he's not a big guy. I mean, he's but six he's foot elusive. tall. He's elusive, about 165 pounds. And, uh, but he knows how to move. Yeah, he does. Second down and just a little bit here for Shadyside Tigers. So 16 to seven, Knights really need to stop here. Hand off there to number 42, Brooks Ramsey. Up the middle, big hole taken down by Nick Spurgis at the 25-yard line. Nice job by Nick to wrap him up. Right now, Shady Side is uh, imposing their will yeah. on the Fairfield Christian Knights defense. Well, hopefully the Knights can stand here and get their offense back out and get some points on the board. Yeah, they need to do that here. Otherwise, this game will get out of hand pretty yeah. quickly for them. We have first down and 10 from the 25-yard line of the Knights. Once again, uh, Ramsey. Hoban. Yeah, Ben got in there again. Ooh, tripped he, him up. Yeah, he did, and, and uh, Ramsey did a good job of avoiding him just enough to get a couple yards because Ben was two yards deep in the, yeah. end, in the uh, backfield on that one. Ooh, that could have been bad for a shady side. I think Ben is sniffing these plays out, yeah. and he's just blitzing through the line on those plays. Oh yeah, that's and that's, and that's that's what they're going to have to do. Oh they're yeah, gonna, he's going to have to continue to do that to stop this running game. Well, and I mean the the Knights' defense, it, they their line, if they can handle this shady side team, they'll they'll be in the game. I tell you what, Zach did a good job there, although they're he's loose, uh, lo looting some tackles here. Zach Sullivan did a great job there, staying home, fending off the blocker, and yeah. forcing Kinnaman into the into the defense on that play. Yeah, well now it's that was a, that was a great play, forced him like you said, forced him back in, and now it's third down and looks like five. And, yeah, uh, third and five. You're right. That Again, could have been huge. Yeah, we've already seen that uh, Shady Side's not going to punt the not not kick the field goal from here. Yeah. So this this means they're going to have two cracks at getting this first down. Get him in back, and he hands it off to Ram Ramsey again up the middle. Oh. He's going towards the end zone, and he does get in the down. end zone. Yeah. Does get into the end zone, and that makes the score 22 to seven, Shady Side. So, you know that play has worked all oh, night yeah. long. And the Knights have just—they uh, had penetration, but on the wrong side of the ball. <laughs> they just couldn't get on. They were on the right side, and they were running left, and couldn't catch up with them. I mean, he's fast and he's big. Yep, he is. That, that safety was huge for Shady Side. Shady Side put him back in the ball game, in my opinion, honestly. Well, it, it definitely, I mean, we, the Knights definitely lost momentum. And yeah. There's the extra point attempt up and good, barely over the barely. upright there. But yeah. nonetheless, I think that's why they're not taking field goals. Yeah, but. maybe. So we got a score of 23 to seven here, and uh, four minutes to go in the third period. Shady Side Tigers leading the Fairfield Christian 
Academy Knights. Yeah. And the Knights going to look to score on this. You're not. I'm not sure what Dobbs going to do on this. If he's going to come out with a, uh, you know, with what he's been doing with these tricky plays, or if he's just going to go back to his pro. We, I don't know what the, uh, what coach is going to do. I really don't know what he's doing at all. Well, I mean, I, I think you know. Again, like we talked about earlier, I think he came into the game recognizing that he was going to have to do some things differently. Mm -hmm try and keep the shady side defense off balance and and in the beginning of the game it worked um, yeah they were they were doing some different things there were some openings you have to give credit to shady side again making I mean, the they, adjustments they they've been a program that has been stellar for years and they have a coaching staff that's made some great adjustments but this game isn't over it's got four minutes left in the third period 23 to 7 if the Knights can take this ball down the field and score yeah they'll we're, be back we're in. right back in the ball game again and, and uh, you know momentum especially at this level is huge is huge can make a big difference yeah. so That was very interesting. The uh, did you notice that kickoff right there? Yeah, I, I couldn't really tell. What was well, going I mean, on. it looked like two guys were, we're going after yeah. trying to kick the ball, number 20 and number 10. And I don't know who they were trying to fake out on a kickoff there, know. but it looks like they faked themselves out. I I, I have no idea what was happening. So there. the result is a five-yard penalty. It takes them back to the 35, and that's going to help the Knights. Yeah, that'll help them field position-wise. They can. I mean, that's a big deal for them. I mean, they're instead of being kicking from the 40, that five yard difference really. Yeah, with the wind blowing in his face there, if you look at the flag over there, the wind is definitely blowing in yeah. the face of the kicker. So let's see who decides to kick it this time <laughs> on the shady side. Number 10 does this time. I'm not oh, again, I'm not very sure what they're shallow to do there. Nice Zach play by Zach. It. Takes it up to 42 yard line. Good and field again, position. Good field position. Yeah. So you know if the Knights can just develop uh, develop some offense here. They could turn the tide in this game. Oh, yeah. That's what they need to do. I, I almost, I, I'd tell Coach, this is one of the times where I would tell Coach, Coach, just do what you've been doing. Just run your run your eye and pound it at them because it's been working. I mean, they've, they've drove down the field, run in the ball several times. First down and 10 from the 42-yard line. In traditional lieback formation, the ball goes to Sam, and Sam breaks through the line and gets a few yards. I tell you again, though, that was that was all Sam on that. Oh one, yeah, there that were was a Sam. number of defenders in the backfield. Well, and Futuro made some nice plays there, make, finding the opening. And but again, I mean, uh, Knights can run over Shady Side just as much as Shady Side can run over FCA. I just think FCA got away from what they were their bread and butter. Yeah. Let's watch the defensive line on this play and yeah. see the penetration that they're starting to get here. They're stacking the line, and there it is. Well, they're staying right at the line, and FCA is doing a good job at not letting them get in the backfield, though. They're doing a good job at that. And I think that's going to be a big deal, especially when you've got a smaller line than what the other team has is just making the hole and you know keeping them out of the backfield, basically, is what they're going to try to do. We got third down and four here from the Knights' 48-yard uh, line, and again, we know from this field position, Coach Dobbs is going to use two downs oh to get yeah. the first down. Luke back to pass, makes a good pass to Bobby, who makes the catch. Good Bobby Futuro, nice catch. Yeah, it really was, and that takes the ball down to the 45 of uh, Shady Side. Bobby looks a little bit yeah. dinged up. Well, I mean, he got hit midair and still caught it. I mean, that was a nice play by Futuro there to grab it. You got to remember, we got two Futuro boys out there, uh, Sammy and Bobby, and uh, both are extremely talented boys. First down on the 44-yard line of uh, Shady Side. That's what they needed, a conversion there to mm -hmm. keep the defense oh, yeah. off the field, as well as start building some offensive momentum. You can see now Shady Side starting to crowd the line. There goes Sam around the end, and again, they're, they're just on him right now. Yeah. And they are, what they're doing is they're putting six and seven guys on the line. And they're daring Fairfield Christian to pass the ball, which, you know, with Hayden Welch and Bobby Perturo and Nick Spur just out there as, as a so wide receivers, on, they, they need to take yeah. advantage of it. So let's see what they do here on second down and eight. Sam was able to get two yards on that play. 
Well, I, I know FC, I know Dodd well enough to know that he's not going to shy away from the run. Yeah, there, there was a pass was batted down by Luke Johnson. He uh, he really didn't step back that much. Only about one step back. Yeah. And uh, that allows your defense, if your if your blockers aren't pushing the guys back a little bit, that allows your defense to put their arms up and block that pass down. Yeah, most definitely. And so it's got third and forever. Yep, there you go, third and eight. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's still not ideal for third down. 152 left in the third period. 23-7 Shady Side over the Fairfield Christian Knights. Key third down and eight. And there's a the pitch to Sam. They're in the backfield again. Yep. Yeah, and they're down, and I think that's going to bring out the punting team. It's fourth down. They lost about three or four on that play, and yes, indeed, that is exactly what's happening. We've got the punt team coming out. Shady Side is, has decided that they are going to shut down the run, mm -hmm. and they're going to force uh, Luke Johnson to beat them with his arm. And, you know, Luke, Luke is certainly capable of doing that. Oh, yeah. Um, but the, he's got to get blocking. He's got to get some blocking, and right now we're starting to see Shady Side impose their will on mm -hmm. that line. Oh, yeah. Good kick by Zach. Oh, we had a fumble. Fumble a play. I don't see know who, who has recovered it. it. And Shady yep. Side was very fortunate there. That uh, that receiver, I'm not sure who that was, number 24. I think that's Ian Baker, I believe, number 24, Ian yeah. Baker. He uh, came up to field that ball with about four defenders around him. Not not the wisest play, I'm sure, as he goes over to the sideline. The coach is uh, giving him a little bit of an earful, earful and also a lesson. Yeah. First down and 10. 23-yard line for the Shady Side Tigers. Kenneman handoffs to uh, Brooks Ramsey, and again, why not? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, when you can run up and down the field like that, I mean, why? I mean, yeah, there's no reason not to. Second down and uh, four, five. That was a pickup of five yards as the third quarter is winding down, and that's the other thing that happens when you can run is the uh, the clock moves a lot faster. Second down and four. Looks like they're spreading the Knights out a little yeah. bit here on this play. And off, and off to Ramsey and yeah. a good stop there. Yeah. You noticed on that play, they were kind of going after the ball a little bit on that one. That was tackled by number 44 for the Knights. And that is uh, Caleb Walls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're playing really good. So it's gonna bring up third and Third and three. three. Yeah, this Knights is an important stop here. here. Yeah. Oh, ah, oh. yeah. The Knights jumped off sides yeah. there. Walls just got a little too antsy there. There's a couple of them that moved on that one, but that was a, uh, a real strong count by the uh, quarterback Chase Kinnaman on Shady Shady Side Tiger side. Forced us to jump off sides, and that's an automatic first down, and that's going to end the uh, third quarter here with the score 23 to seven Shady Side. Uh, against the Fairfield Christian Academy Knights. Your score here is 23 to 7. We'll be right back with more FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN. Brought to you in part by. Discover your promise in academics, in athletics, or in theater at Ohio University Lancaster and Pickerington. Online at lancaster.ohiou.edu. Thompson Concrete full-service concrete company online at thompsonconcrete.com. Roger Weaver and the Weaver Law Offices online at weaver-law.com. Fairfield Christian Church located near the River Valley Mall in Lancaster online at fairfieldcc.com. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Buddy, back to Jim Rockwell Stadium. Your score: Shady Side 23, Fairfield Christian 7. And uh, Shady Side just right now in control of the football game. FCA just trying to get some points on the board right now. Yeah. And uh, right now, Shady Side has the clock working to their advantage as they head into the fourth quarter. 
There's the handoff to, no, Chase Kinnaman keeps it, and Zach Sullivan does a great job. Chasing him down. Some backside support there, and chases him down. And you also notice Zach is, is doing the right thing. He's securing the tackle while going after the ball. Ball, ball. Yeah. And that's what that's what the Knights need to do. Uh, after his Kinnaman's um, fumble at the beginning of the game, why, and they fumbled it twice, why not go after the yeah, football? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and really, that's what the defense needs to do is force some turnovers here. Second down and eight. Something tells me they're going to hand the ball off here, and that's exactly what they do. Gains a couple yards there, and FCA starting to recognize it and stop it a lot better than they were at the beginning of the game. Yeah, it's third down and five, and again, here's, I, I really believe if the Knights want to try and turn the momentum of this game around, they're going to have to make a stop oh, yeah. uh, right about now. Well, and then they have to play. score a couple of times. Yeah, but you got to get the ball to score. So, yeah. Third down and five from the Knights' 43 yard line. I'm sorry, the Shadyside Tigers' 43 yard line. Back for the pass. And there's a interception. interception by Hayden Welch, exactly what exactly. they were just talking about. Third turnover of the ball game yeah. off of a tip pass. So, And that may be what determines the game today is turnovers because there's been three that have changed what's going on in the ball game. Right, exactly. And that Kinnaman just put the, put a little bit too much mustard yeah. on that pass, had a little bit high, tipped it up in the air, and that's exactly what a defense looks yeah. for is that tip pass. And then, FC, and then Hayden just made an incredible catch, or interception, excuse me. First down and 10 for the Knights on the 47-yard line of Shady Side. Luke Johnson goes back to pass. And he got buried yeah. by number one, Austin Doris. And right there, Sam has got to make that block. Yeah. Sam Faturo let Austin Doris go right by him. And uh, and on the same note, good job by Luke not forcing anything because he looked like he was looking for Bobby down there on the slant route and didn't get him because he didn't see anything open. So he just took it like a man, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, he did. Didn't have a choice, he didn't see it coming. But second down and 15. Out to Bobby Futuro, who, who needs to elude the defender and does not quite do that. Yeah. It's a third down now, and again, it's about 14 or 15 yards. And FCA needs a big play here, and they're going to be looking for it. I mean, they're passed twice in a row. Yeah. Well, I think that's where that's where the Knights are at. With under 10 minutes to go, you know, they're not, they don't really have the luxury of, uh, of a long sustained drive at this right. point. And, but they're also kind of getting a little luck here and getting a little bit from Shadyside because Shadyside's starting to put a lot more people in the box anyway. Third down and 13 for the Knights. Johnson back to pass. There's the pass to Hayden Welch. There's a flag on the play. Fletcher's going to be pass interference on that. I'm not sure if that's, I didn't see it actually, if that was offensive or defensive pass interference. Let's see what the officials call yep, on pass defensive. interference on defense. Right. That's that huge, because then they get 15 yards. No, it's, they're going to they're gonna decline the penalty, I'm sure. That's got to be a first down already anyway. I think that may be 15 yards from the spot of the foul. Hey, wow, really? Let's take a look at that. I think what the Knights are doing Decline. is declining there the penalty and taking the first down there. There you go. Yeah, well, either way, it's a first down. Right. I think on a personal foul, you would have seen that play marked off at the end of the play there, yeah. but that's not what that was. First down and 10 on the Knights. I'm sorry, Shadyside 36-yard line. There they go, crowding the ball again. Hand off to Sam Perturo, and he's taken, uh, he's right, taken down. right down. He's not getting the uh, the blocking up front at this particular point. But again, what, what that does is it does keep the defense slightly off balance. Right. Second down and seven for the Knights after a gain of three by Sam Perturo. 8.50 to go. The clock is, is is definitely moving and not in their favor. Yeah, so the Knights are going to have to score pretty quickly here as they need a number of scores to get back to even here. There's the pitch to Sam. Wide left, looking for some room. Not a lot of room there. Fights for yards. And he's brought down by a host of Shady Side Tigers down to his... Uh, I think he maybe got a yard. 
Maybe two, perhaps, but uh, definitely not a lot. It's going to be third down and seven or eight. Eight. About seven there, yeah, yep. where they spot so it. Third down and clock is showing eight. There it is, down to seven. You were right, Caleb. Good call. Third down and seven, a definite passing down for the uh, Knights. Mm -hmm. Luke's going to need some good protection here. There's the pass. It's tipped up in the air. That's pass interference, and so I'd say. Well, it's intercepted. That should have been pass interference because they, like, slammed into Colin. Pass was tipped, and, and when a pass is tipped, one of the things that's uh, allowed is then you can tackle the wide receiver once that pass wow. is tipped. That's big momentum shift yep, there. Yeah, it really is. The Knights were driving, and again, that's like the third tip pass at the line of scrimmage for the Tigers, and uh, that forces the turnover. First down, Shadyside Tigers, 33-yard line. Clock is at 7.55. So this is... Uh, now, I, I just bet you Shady Side is just going to run the ball. Yeah, with this with this kind of a lead, with the clock winding down like that, that you, you can pretty much bet they're not going to pass the ball anymore. Number 42, and a nice tackle there again. I'm guessing that's Joey Gall. I'm sorry, that's uh, Colin, Colin Young. Young. Colin Young with a great stop there. Really cut down Brooks Ramsey there for the Tigers. Ramsey has had himself quite a night tonight. Mm -hmm. most, of his, most of his runs, though, have been through some pretty big holes mm -hmm. made by that offensive line. Oh, yeah. You know, I'll give the, the, the Knights defense credit. They are hanging in there. They're doing what they can with what they've been given. Second down and six. A handoff to Brooks Ramsey again. And he gets his Man. first down there. He uh, he dragged Sam Perturo for a few yeah. yards on that play. When he was just trying to bring him down, just get his arms around him. Yeah, Brooks Ramsey, again, he's one of those running backs that if you try and go high on him, he is going to carry you for a little bit. That's yeah. what he did on that play. First down and 10, Shadyside Tigers on the 49-yard line. 6.55 to go in the game. They are definitely in control of this game at this oh, point. Definitely. Hand off to number 42, Brooks, uh, sorry, 32. 32, who breaks a couple of tackles on the, that play. Yeah, I mean, and shady side moving the ball, and. That was Alexander Quinn, yeah. number 32. The Knights uh, really could. Uh, you look back, they could have used that field goal when they were down in there close. And points just, it's amazing how much points change a game. It yeah, gives your team momentum. I mean, it's a whole nother ball game. It is, but you know, Caleb, so far in this game, as the handoff goes to Ramsey again, and he gets another five or six yards, um, you know, we're, we're just, we just saw the key to the game. Yeah, right and, there. And, and that is running that, the football. That's it. The the Shady Side Tigers offensive line is is right now. I mean, I, in, I, I'm in not trying to be mean or anything, but they're dominating the line oh, yeah. right now. They are. And, uh, you know, it's just it is what it is. They're, they're, they are a quality, quality team, and they are running the ball at will right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. And so with 550 left in the game, FCA has got to get a stop in order to maybe get back in the game. There's another handoff there to number 32. Gain of about four yards, five yards. Yeah, I mean, it's third and one. And you know, and even if they get a stop here, I'd venture to say that Shady Side's gonna go for it. Oh yeah. yeah, I think you're right, Caleb. Third down and one with 5.15 to go. The clock is winding down. Not looking good for the Knights right now. Need a big play right now out of their defense. Oh. Yep, and there's uh, ben, oh, ben Tobin. They're calling a false start on the deep offense. Oh, there it is. He must have. He must have. Ben must have seen some movement there himself. Stops the clock and puts the ball back on a third and six, which is a much different situation than oh, yeah. third and one. Oh. 
Wow. This is the PA announces Brooks Ramsey has 250 yards rushing. Yeah. Holy yeah, he's, cow. He's, he's been the horse tonight. And there's a handoff to Brooks Ramsey who breaks a couple tackles, but they stop him. That'll bring up fourth down, but yep. you know Shady Side's going for it. So. Fourth and three. They might, or they might go ahead and we'll see what they do there. And they probably have nothing to lose with going for it. Oh, the yeah. clock is running down to four minutes and ten seconds. You know, it's going to take a miracle to get FCA back in to win this game. You know, but I'll give them credit. Their defense is not giving up. They are fighting. Oh, yeah. And they're just up against a, a very good opponent. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Fourth down and three, and even Chase Kinnaman's letting the clock run down. There's the handoff to Brooks Ramsey, and he's got a big hole, and he has got a first down and much more. Yep. Down to the 15 or 16 yard line of the Knights. That's gonna momentarily stop the clock, and they will get that thing rolling here in a second again. And Shady Side is is uh, in control. In control. And I, I, I know you never want to say it's not over till the fat lady sings, but with that rung there, that's that's about the dagger that puts it in the the chest of the Yeah, FCA. It, it is. It is. You know, it, it, they had to make a stop, in, in order to have a chance, and and they really haven't been able to do that. Um, in this second half, and, and right now, Shady, again, this is where you see Shady Side. They're they're a very well coached team. Uh, Chase Kinnaman, you know, he, he's even taking his time snapping the ball, taking the play clock all the way down before he snaps it. Brooks oh, yeah. Ramsey on that play gained about seven more yards, so that's putting him well over 235 yards. He's having a career night tonight. Oh yeah, he's got to be getting close to 300 because they said he was at 250. Last time. Oh, you're right. You're that right. was 20 yards ago. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Second down and four from the 11-yard line of the Fairfield Knights, and uh, Shady Side is knocking on the door again. 2:38 to go. <laughs> hand off to Ramsey team. again up the middle. Big hit there by Nick Spurgeon stops him at the three yard line, but he did get about an eight yard gain on that play. Yeah, huge, huge. First run. down and 10 from the Knights three yard line. Clock picks back up again, 2.24 to go. Well, I mean, Shadyside just has to run it. And I mean, that's, they're getting eight, eight yards of play. Yeah, eight yards are. Eight yards. They I mean, are. Almost every single time. Yeah. Well, you know, Caleb, you brought up earlier in the game the, the line play will make the difference in the game, and and that's what's happened here. They stopped them on that one. Yeah. Good backside support by Bobby Fraturo along with the surge up the middle. Looks like uh, a number of players. Colin Young got himself in there. Joey Gall. They're fighting. I mean, oh, I tell you fighting. what, these Knights, the, the score... Score you doesn't know, reflect how no, I mean, it was a closer game than what this score is going to end up reflecting. Yeah. You know, but um, it, it also shows that the Knights have a little bit more to go in terms of being able to play with the elite in yeah. the state. But their hearts, man, they played their hearts out tonight, that's for sure. Second well, I down think, and two. I think here in the next couple of years, we're going to see FCA really bloom. There's another tremendous stop. San Fraturo got him low. And then I think that was uh, Ben was Tobin, ben Tobin again. again, hit him high. And with a guy like Ramsey, that's what you got to do. You, yeah. you got to go low and high at the same time. Minute six to go, third and goal. Let's see. The, at this point, the Knights are playing for pride. Yeah. Let's see if they uh, can muster up another stone wall scenario here. <laughs> third down and one. Kinnaman, uh, again, taking his time, winding the clock all the way down. Hands it off to Ramsey. And he's in. And he's in. Yeah. It was just and one too many times to try and stop well, a and guy like that. It, it, you, you kind of, I know this is because I'm an FC, uh, from FCA and I'm an FCA fan, but, you know, you, you almost wonder, where uh, some aware, why don't you just go in a Liberty formation and just wind the clock out? Oh, you mean yeah. take a knee? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I have mixed feelings on that, Caleb. I mean, there's a piece of me that says, you know, you shouldn't, the only team that should stop you is the team that's across the field from yeah. you. Yeah. 
and you know Fairfield Christian has had a share of critics over the uh, over the years about right. some of the scoring that uh, that uh, Fairfield Christian has done and right. and I kind of support the the thought that you're playing the game of football you play 60 minutes right and uh, it's up to the other team to stop you so yeah well and I mean even I don't know I mean I'm on the fence about it because you know there's a time when there's, it's in the third quarter and you're charging down the field with your threes in. And then, and then there's another time when it's 40 seconds and you still have your ones in. Yeah, you know. So, so I, I, the situation's a bit different, however, you know what I mean? Yeah, like I, I do. I, I hear you. I do. It's, it's, it's a great debate. You know, and I w I'd say that even if it was FCA and they're, they're standing right there with their no, ones I know in you and would. they're up by, yeah. but they're up by 20 yep. some points. And I mean, that's, I, I don't, I, I don't think that's high football in my, in my regard. Yeah, and uh, trying not to be as critical as I can <laughs> with that, but no, I, I appreciate you can't what help you're but saying point that out yep. when you got your number ones in with no time whatsoever yeah, left on the clock. I guess I'll just offer one last viewpoint, and, and all that does to me is, is show that this score this score is not reflective yeah, exactly. of the quality of the game. Yeah, because so this it's game, been a close game. It, it has been, and, and that's why the other coach wasn't taking players out because this game's a lot closer than it is, and the score is showing. Now that one is different. I'm not quite sure why they would do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm very confused by what what Shady Side does with that whole two men kicking yeah. off thing. Yeah. I don't. Uh, who who's that supposed to confuse? <laughs> so we have 38.8 seconds left here in the game. The score is 30 to seven. Shady Side Knights over the Fairfield Christian Academy Knights. The uh, and the Tigers. Tigers going to walk away with a victory here and more than likely a playoff berth from that. And FCA is going to walk away with this, uh, six and two. And hopefully, if they can win out, even if they still win out, can hopefully get into the playoffs. But, you know, you're not very not very likely. And Coach Job taking a timeout there. Yep. Knights take a timeout with 38 seconds to go. Yes, we do. It's been a good game. It really has been. And like you said just a moment ago, the score doesn't reflect how it's been played because it was you know, basically what happened was is you had that safety and then it was all downhill from that, there you for know, the Knights. Caleb, that's a great point. I mean, the Knights came out in the second half with the ball and uh, they, they went to some of their trickery plays and they didn't work out for them. And uh, and then before we knew it, there was a safety, and they gave the ball back to the Tigers, yeah. who drove down the field and he scored. And, and that pretty much that, that pretty much started it. I mean, and again, you know, I can't reiterate the key to the game. I'd Brooks, say it was that Brooks Ramsey, number yeah. 42, well over 250 yards rushing. I'd say he's got to be close to 280, 290 yards rushing. Yes, I agree with you. There's a pass to Hayden Welch. Gets around one defender, goes to the sideline, and I tell you one thing: you got to give uh, Shady Side credit. There aren't many teams that are able to chase uh, Hayden down, and they yeah. did on that play. But nonetheless, it was for uh, a good gain on first down. Well, and that's one of the things is FCA really didn't do a lot of their bread and butter this week, and and you know that's just that's that's another piece of the puzzle. I think that is FCA was trying to do a lot of stuff that they don't normally do, and. You know, with any team, when Ohio State does that, they don't play well. When Oklahoma does that, they don't play well. I mean, whoever it is, if you start doing things you aren't normally doing, yeah, changes your entire team. And you, and I mean, and being a former FCA player, I mean, I, I'd venture to guess that a lot of those new formations and plays were put in this week. Yeah, it sure seems that way. Here we have second down and two with uh, 15 seconds to go. There's Luke with the pass over to Nick Spurgis, who makes the catch. And I'm not sure what happened there. Did he make the catch? Yeah, or he is caught it. A, okay. Looks like the ball came out of there just slightly. We have ourselves a first down here with 10 seconds to go in the game. The Knights are just trying to get a few more yards, maybe even score if they could. That's, the clock's rolling. I don't know. Yeah, I think, there? I think the... Uh, the, the whistle from the official confused uh, yeah. Brian Miller there, and he thought they were stopping the play, and actually what he was doing was starting the clock. Yeah. Five seconds to go here in the game. Again, I'm, I'm just going to say it. The Knights are, are fighting all the way to the end. They're giving it their all here. Definitely. 
and uh, Shady Side's going to drop back in a prevent. And yep. There's the uh, handoff to Sam Futuro. Sam uh, gets taken down after about a two or three yard gain, and that's going to end the game, ladies and gentlemen, here at uh, at the Lexington Field. And the final score: 30 to seven. The Shady Side Tigers defeat. Fairfield Christian Academy Knights. Again, a hard-fought game, Caleb. Definitely. Uh, score is a little bit greater than what the quality of the game was, but uh, make no mistake about it, Shady Side won the game. Yeah. Um, and and was able to dominate at the line of scrimmage, and that was the key to the game tonight. Oh yeah, definitely. And. Uh, one last quick thank you to our sponsor before we leave here, Service Master Clean by Todd George. The cleaning and disaster restoration for all of Fairfield County. They will help you get clean and stay that way at work and at home when they demonstrate their commitment to excellence and their promise to do the job right or do it over. Service Master Clean by Todd George can be contacted at 740-687-1077. Thank you, Todd George, for supporting FMP Sports, and thank you to all our sponsors for supporting Fairfield Media Productions Sports Broadcasting. And thank you for tuning in this lovely uh, Friday night, your final score, Shady Side 30, Fairfield Christian 7. Good evening, everybody. Hey, how's it going? Sir, are you okay? What? Oh, this is probably nothing. I'm sure it'll go away. Go away? But, sir, that can't be good. No, it's cool, really. Do you want a napkin or something? Everything's fine. Thanks. You wouldn't ignore this. So why ignore the signs of a stroke? At the first warning signs, call 911 immediately because time lost is brain lost. FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. watching FCA on LSN.